All right, hi friends of golfers. Um, just wanted to show you a quick little uh, deal here. Maybe this will help you um, if you struggle. Um, I want to show you something here, uh, student I have here. I mean, this guy, pretty amazing how, um, I think he sent a seven iron here on the right. This is the beginning. Um, let me unlink him so you can see it here. And, you know, about 90, I think, not even going hard, it was getting up to 96. Um, and look at this. Sitting straight up. A really extending big time. I mean, just massive really extension. Um, you know, I mean, the ball was all over the place. <laughs> But I mean, just to generate that kind of speed with um, this mechanics here, right there, that throw. Yeah, what, what it, it should tell everybody here that it is just fascinated, I guess, with, you know, one thing I always hear is, okay, if I want to hit it fast, like, oh, I got to turn my hips quicker. And it's like, <laughs> I, I, should, I, should, I probably shouldn't laugh, I'm sorry, but it's, um, it, this this should prove it to you. It's not the hips because he at impact is barely cleared at all. Like you can't you can't see his like left butt. I'll, I'll show his left butt cheek in the down the line view. Uh, from down the line, it almost looks like he's uh, at a dress still. So it should prove to everybody out there it's not best. Your hips are turning. The other thing is that'll prove it to you really quick is the um, women turn their hips faster than men. So when you have a speed issue uh, do not start looking at your hips as the first reason okay i know they clear theirs out of the way but look at that as a pivot reason and what they're doing okay look at look at their pivot just think of their whole body in general and what's happening with it and how they're using their body to support what's happening okay um just look just give it a different look so here i have in just one of my favorite drills to do with people to get a good sense of feeling um but he picked this up pretty quick too. Um, I want to feel like it, when we have our wrists are already hinged like this, we can just kind of take it back. And you, you can see before us, we did some 22 and a half degree drills, okay? Um, so when you're hinged like this, all you really have to do is get extension. You know, extent, you need to, I, I like to feel like you get width going back with your hands and get a nice turn, okay? And I also have the TRS here on the end, so he can work on rotating out of the way. <laughs> the first time he did, he just nailed himself. But this is what's gonna be neat for you guys. See, this is, um, just so you know, first lesson here, folks. So, and believe me, you know, like, I'm not one of those guys out there, it just shows you this great stuff that's happening, thinks I'm, you know, this great coach. I tell him, and I tell everybody this, a lot of what happens is based on athleticism okay so he is he's super athletic okay so he he was able to pick up something really 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 quick um so to a degree you know i i, I don't know what i'd rate him a scale of one to ten but he's he's super athletic and i feel like you know down the scale from somebody who's on the other side of what he is they wouldn't learn this as quick and and I'll also add to it, I think that's not 100% fair, too, because one thing I've learned in all these years, and I tell my students that I have on um, my, like, year-long programs that are, you know, kind of this intensive, you know, go from 20 handicap to four, just, like, crazy changes in a year. Um, I tell them all this, that uh, you're going to have a sticking point somewhere something is going to happen. I've never seen anybody go through my program where there isn't some point that hits on them and they're like, everything kind of stalls and it's like, whoa, how do I get through this? And then it's like, then they need to really work harder at that part. So, you know, let's say you come in your way over the top, you, you know, you, you can finally get under, that's fine. But then, you know, maybe you from in transition becomes this huge struggle with you for how, what, how to do or how to move in transition source. Whatever, whatever it is and you're moving your body that you struggle with, it, there's one with everybody that I've found. Nobody just cruises through. There's always a sticking point that something is going to be harder than others. And it's not the same with everybody. And it's not like there's this commonality. It's like always this. 
always different, which makes it fun to be a coach, I think, right? Um, so again, okay, just kind of turning. I only want to go to left arm parallel, so it went maybe a little bit far here. Not too bad though, right? So you set nice separation of his leg here. I mean, just if you look at this here, and if I show you down the line, you would see that his left hip's finally clearing. But look at this right here. <laughs> that shaft lean, <laughs> like stupid. Um, and then look, he gets out of the way. Clears all the way, and he's not even using his leg yet yet to push his hip back. So next time I see him, because I know he'll have this down, we'll be working on this, how to move this action here so we can clean this up. So he's not even using this action here yet, which is going to be make him feel great when he figures out how to do this too. So when he uses that leg to straighten to push that hip back, he's going to feel really good about it. But I mean, you can look here how he hit before. This is the natural. This is how he does it with the leg bent when he's hitting. So, you know, chunking, right, guys? Only one and girls one thing at a time. And then we move on once we kind of master it. So, um, show you this again. So turn, kind of push his hands away from you. He kind of leans a little into his left, and then we're just turning, rotating, and keep rotating left, 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 left. Boom! That looks so pretty. So. Hope this helps you guys. If you got any questions, let me know. You can find me at ejsgolf.com. Check out, check me out for online lessons if you want. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. Take care. Bye.